I'm Dr. Carey. I wanted to introduce you to this little hedgehog. Um, let me give you a brief synopsis of this little guy's history. Um, he was actually found in an apartment. People had moved out and the maintenance people saw a box in there and they just thought the box was just junk. They left. And so a week or so went by and they went to move that box and realized there was actually a little hedgy in there. So this hedgehog was abandoned in, a, in an apartment um, there for at least a week. So anyway, he was taken in um, by a rescue and noticed that, so first you can tell he's really angry right now because he's painful, but his right eye is dripping blood and I cannot tell what's going on right now because he is not going to unroll for me because he's very painful and super ticked off. Here he comes. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. So anytime I move him, he just gets in this real defensive kind of posture. But the nicest thing for him would definitely be to go ahead and sedate him. So we're going to give him a little gassy anesthesia and then get him to kind of unroll and then look at his eye and see what the heck's going on. We have our little hedgy friend here. Um, we've got him under a little mask of um, anesthesia. So let me just show you real quick. This is his actual eyeball and it just perforated. I have no idea why that happened. Um, you know, he had an injury when they got him possibly and it just ruptured. We don't know, but I know that We've got to get it out of there. There's that eyeball doesn't even look like an eyeball anymore. So it's just bleeding and causing him pain. So we are going to go ahead and remove that eye and suture it up and see how he does with that. Because we definitely don't want him to lose his life over this injury, but we don't want him to be painful anymore either. So we'll also give him some antibiotics and some pain meds um, while he's under maybe some sub Q fluids just to kind of support him a little bit. Um, and then we're going to keep a close eye on him for the next several days. This is definitely the tiniest eye removal I've ever done. Um, so here's kind of some two sutures in his eye, whereas I was, I packed in some um, stuff called bio sponge to kind of help with um, preventing infection and, and stopping bleeding. So we're going to wake him up now. We also gave him um, a couple injections kind of subcutaneously, two for pain and one as an antibiotic. Um, so it's time to wake him up and hopefully he'll have minimal bleeding. I wanted to show you this, the box he came in. Look how much blood. That's a lot of blood loss for a tiny hedgehog. We're just waiting for our little guy to wake up. He's breathing really good. He's nice and cozy and warm. Um, you know, hopefully he's not super painful when he wakes up. So we'll see how he does. Also looking at his teeth, um, he doesn't look like he's very old. He's got pretty good teeth. So... We're gonna keep his eye and send it off um, also to the lab so that they can kind of do a little histopathology on it and find out if he possibly has cancer. Um, that could definitely be the cause of his eye. And in hedgehogs, you always wanna rule out cancer because they just get cancer at a very young age. We're feeding our little hedgehog friend some treats. Um, this is how I lure him out to be able to look at his eye. That's his good eye. This is where his eye was removed and it looks perfect. There's no swelling. Um, it looks like it's starting to heal great. It's been three days since surgery and our little hedgehog is doing great. He's running around and active and he's eating and drinking. So we are gonna go ahead and send him home and call him a success. On behalf of my little hedgehog friend, um, we just wanna say thank you guys for your donations that let us Save this little guy. He kind of came to us through a tragic situation um, where he was abandoned. So he really is coming out of his shell and kind of eating from our hand. And he loves snacks, so that's kind of how we won him over. He's looking for his little meal over here. So thank you guys. Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up, but you don't walk right.